this and video me blowing up the air, but putting the air in the ball. Now I gotta hear you in the background pop on, you know? Does it need more? Okay, let me, let me help you. Let me help you out. venturing out finally you make me sick with all that all that yell, yelling and whining and shit Papa. come on it's real hot you look like that millennial all in the way it's at the paw show all right the balls have been filled i'm not good at this part Y'all think I can bounce this over the cable? I'm gonna try. I did it one time, but I think I was luck. Good morning, everybody. I am back. <laughs> Dana wanted a little something because we're gonna we're gonna install the pool, but we don't know. We're still working out the logistics. So in the meantime, we were like, let's just get one of those little stupid little kiddie pools. Not quite kiddie pool. It's like 12 feet wide. I can wait in it, I guess. And uh, it is very, very nice to dip in. But we want we want an in-ground pool. So before we, or as we do our research, figure out what shape, size, I'm just gonna have that in the meantime. Works nicely. I'm gonna do a quick little garden update. Um, I didn't get to show you all the potatoes that we pulled out. Okay, I forgot to, um, well, I didn't forget. I just, I had to really get these out of the ground. I left them in way longer than I should have. Some of them are green on the tips and have little flower buds coming out. So, I had to pull these out, but we've got potatoes. I knew the leaves, I thought the leaves were just dying and they were actually turning a bit yellow. So they were ready. So here we go, about to put these in a paper bag and let them cure for about seven to 10 days and then they'll be ready to eat. But cool, not bad for my first little harvest of potatoes. This one's a little different, so I always call them packing them. Anywho, yay. Green eyes today. I left my hair tied up because I, every time I come out here, it's always something in my hair when I go back into the house. And so I said, not today. Oh yeah. Let's start over. Let's start from the side. And then we'll work our way back. And I was being a drama queen with good reason because my sunflowers were not doing well. As you can see, they're starting to kind of grow back the flower tops. I didn't, you know, expect this to happen, but I'm glad that it did. These are really beautiful sunflowers. And so I really want to see them do well. So I'm happy that somebody is moving up there and you're making water drop. It's a squirrel. Can you stop? Can you tell him to stop? He is in, he's in his house. Anyway, I'm very, very happy. I think there's still some critters that I can't really do anything about unless I spray these down. Oh, I'm gonna spray them with my neem oil. But that's pretty good. Well, that's what I get for not charging my gimbal. Anyway, moving on. The blueberries are doing well. We've been eating off of the blueberry tree or bushes for some quite some time now. And we just come out here and we pick a couple and it's just a little snack for now. That's doing really well. The watermelon and the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe, I don't, I don't know. The cantaloupe's not doing anything yet. 
Oh, yes, it never mind. Shut up. You lying. Yes, it is. Look. Oh. Look at his little butt. Oh, little butt. That is adorable. Okay, so they're finally putting. I didn't see that yesterday. But now the watermelon's doing great. Look at this. Ho oh, oh. ho. Uh oh, he fell off. He fell off. He can't be falling off. I set him on here so the rain, it, when it rains, it just kind of rolls off and they don't get waterlogged or anything. But yeah, look at him. Look at him. He's super cute. This chart's doing a lot better, even though something is still munching it. Uh oh, did I break it? I hope I didn't break it. My wild lettuce, which is for pain management, is doing well. You can drink this tea or you can smoke it. I will probably like the hippo. The potatoes I took out, so I showed you those. Uh, not a bad harvest. Uh, I just planted these to see how they would do. I don't need, I don't need this here anymore. Let me just, no, okay. God, I just put my gimbal down. <laughs> This is why my mom called me Destructo. Garlic and onions are still kind of remaining here. It's doing their own thing. We also have some more marigolds here. Um, the ginger is doing well. This is ginger. This is ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Um, the sweet potatoes are... Oh, oh my god. Ah! The walnuts are falling here. No, this is what I didn't want. Walnuts are not good for the garden. So I need to put those over there. These greens, you can eat these. Uh, I would saute them with garlic and onions. We're gonna have those, we don't have them. Be quiet, bird. We might have those for breakfast. They're just going crazy. They're going absolutely nuts. As you can see, they're growing outside here. I told Dana, I was like, cut these leaves off and take them inside and let's eat them because this, this is, this is going crazy. Like, look at this. It was on the ground and it was throwing down roots into the dirt. And I was like, uh, wait, not, not, not yet. Potato, 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 sweet potato, sweet potato. That's the remnants of one stalk, corn stalk. This one's doing well. This one's doing excellent over here. I put some more dirt around the mound because their roots were starting to show. So I did that. These two so far so good. They're doing well. They're about, this is about chest length for me. So it's getting up there. Moving over to the carrots that I had planted quite some time ago. As you can see, the carrot tops are here. Oh, you see that carrot? Gonna leave them in for a little longer. Let them do their thing. This one, when I feel like the diameter is a little bit, just a tad bit wider, I might pull it. Growing moss in here too. There's like this moss growing, which I think I can put it in some soil to soak. If I can have an outdoor area where I grow moss, almost like an earthing station, you know where you go put your feet and you just step on the earth. It's good to put your feet in the dirt, in the soil. Um, it's just a good idea. It helps with your immune system. Some people may not believe that, but it's true. Oh, more potatoes. I love potatoes. Um, let's go inside here, because there's a lot going on here. Wow, wow. Okay, starting on this side. <gasps> no, tomato. No, 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 stand up. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna stake him. We're gonna stake him. We're gonna stake the char, because you're falling over. The bok choy, you're doing pretty well. Brussels sprouts, doing well. Lettuce and a weed doing pretty well so my onions are falling over oh he's growing over he's got a hunchback Ooh, i don't know if i can save you without breaking you okay you just i'm gonna just prop you up on a little stick i don't know what's going on my kohlrabi but know, this is experimental so it's fine um more bok choy i don't know if this one's doing well I don't, nope, that one's dead. Okay, we're, we're gonna return you to the earth. Lots of green onions. Spinach, I don't even know what to say. The kale is doing the damn thing. Stand you up, let's make you great. Kale is doing great. These kales are doing fine too. Brussels sprout is 
doing all right, but it's just, it's kind of leggy and it's just all over the place. So we'll see how they do. The aphids, I keep spraying my aphids off of the basil and then they keep coming back. So I will not put basil in this location ever again. And I was supposed to put one basil plant somewhere else so that this didn't happen. You always want to try and keep pests from getting all of your same crop. So I should have put these two spread out on the other side. Um, that probably would have helped. So I'm gonna spray these down real quick and continue to show y'all the other areas. Oh, this is kind of cool. So these are wood ear, wood ear mushrooms that are, they, they inoculated themselves on this log. And so now um, when it rains, they come out and these are, these are long gone. Can't do anything with these. But when they come back again, next rain, that's gonna be pretty cool. And um, we do eat these. These are like one of the few edible mushrooms that I know of that I can actually eat. So I try to have a little fun with it in my meals and whatnot. This is a spruce tree that was growing um, pretty much right here. And I took it out and repotted it. I'm gonna see if I can keep it going. I think it's kind of cool. It's gonna take forever to grow, but it's just cool. It's just really cool. Except when these little pine things stick you. Sometimes they get kind of hard. We got a beefsteak that's doing really well out here. I think I might have the other ones out here as well because I think they can grow against this um, cattle fencing, cattle panel, really nicely. This plant is just a cute, soft, leaf plant that I think is really um, pretty. So I misidentified this plant at first. I thought it was lamb's ear. Turns out it is mullen. And uh, I was seeing the plant in its really, really, really young stage. And so it just didn't quite look like the mullen that I, you know, had you know, seen before. But I know about mullen. It's great for respiratory health and uh, lung health. And people will typically drink a tea made from the leaves, uh, fresh leaves or dried leaves. You can also dry it and smoke it as an herbal. Um, and so uh, it's been around for a very long time. I'm into foraging, so this was just so exciting for me to find. And there are some other wild edibles that are growing here that I'll, I'll share with you guys as well. But um, this was just such a cool find. I'm so excited. So yeah, uh, and I did have the tea. I tried it, it was delicious. It's very smooth and it has a very soft mouthfeel. Um, and I think it could be because this is supposed to help you expel any type of phlegm that you have in your chest or in your lungs. You know, it's kind of, it breaks it up and helps it loosen up so you can kind of like cough it out. So similar to like slippery elm uh, tea or maybe like a marshmallow type of tea. Uh, definitely try it in tea form if you ever get the opportunity. I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Even if you don't like tea, I think you'll enjoy it. So just left him here. It's native, I guess, I guess. They're, grow they're growing all over the place, so. I'm gonna let these do their thing, and I'm actually gonna see if I can grow one really big as a decorative plant. Cucumbers, look at that, look. Uh, where's the other one? Look. Look at that. They're so cute, look at their I always tell, I don't know why I'd be getting fruits and vegetables. I'd be telling them they got butts, but look at his butt. Cool, 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 cool. Um, this is, uh, this is cantaloupe. Oh, he's not supposed to go this way. He's supposed to go up here like that, like down. And we, of course, we, we have the uh, watermelon and another cantaloupe over here. Starting to, uh-oh, uh-oh. Starting to grab on. Don't grab on the parsley. Oh, Jesus. There's not much going on with the wildflowers that I have here. I don't know what wildflowers are going to pop up, but we're just going to keep going. So, um, things are going well. Some things are flourishing, some things are dying. That is just the way it is. You know, being a gardener, a farmer, you are surrounded by death a lot. I didn't realize that. But it's true. Quite true. You know, we're trying to bring things to life. Plants, you know, your fruits and your veggies, uh, starting from seed usually, although not always. Sometimes, you know, you get your little 
already grown seedlings and you put them in, but your plants are gonna die. <laughs> you're not gonna know why all the time. Um, you're gonna see a lot of dead insects and things and bugs that have like shed their exoskeletons and different things. I'm still trying to find the cicada um, exoskeleton because I just think they look really cool because they basically take their entire body out of it and it's just like kind of cool. I, I like weird stuff. I like stuff that's kind of like odd and creepy and morbid. How many of y'all are gonna run through this garden curious about some of the bugs picking up huge ass beetles picking up large earthworm i have i do have my gloves on because i'm like i don't know what y'all got I, you know i don't want you on my skin but i will pick up bugs you'll see me here i'll pick up bugs and just look at them and observe them and so i'm just i'm a little weird i'm a little out there i like it a lot of people are weird weirdness is good it's a great thing just because no one knows about your weirdness doesn't mean you aren't weird it just means you maybe you keep it under wraps i do i don't share go back over here i don't share everything about my world with with everyone do i need to water anything today because honestly yeah i don't think i do but yeah i like i like morbid stuff i like crazy dark stuff um this is fascinating to me I've always embraced it, but yeah, I, uh, the creepy crawler. I'm scared of them sometimes, but yeah, there's always something on me. The ant. <gasps> this is a dirt pile. That is cement that they probably shouldn't have dumped there, but they did. It's fine. I'm trying to get rid of all of this dirt. This is dirt that they basically, when they cleared this whole area out, all of this stuff got pushed back here. So, um, we're trying to slowly use up this dirt so that it's just not this big mound. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. So I'm using that dirt along with soil, compost, perlite. Anyway, I'm going to bring some more dirt over. Do a little bit out here before it starts to get really warm. So we've been wanting to put up uh, some private property signs for a little while now, just to make sure people know, you know, you're not welcome unless you, you're supposed to be, you know, unless you're supposed to be here, you're not welcome like that. Unless, you know, you're delivering my mail. You, gotta, you know, go, go ahead and give me that Amazon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure this sign to a piece of wood, and then I am going to um, attach the wood to like a tree or something in the front of the property. So I'm just using this owl to make a hole there. Actually, I'll leave that right there. I gotta go get another small screw, so I will be back. Please hold. All right, I'm back. So you probably won't be able to see everything that I'm doing, but I'll show you along the way. This is the bag of random screws and bolts and nuts and all sorts of stuff. I know you have one of these bags. Everybody's got one of these bags. Everybody's got that drawer, that junk drawer. <laughs> Everything you need is in this bag. And the owl worked perfectly to get the hole in the metal and a nice starter hole in the wood, so that's good. Next thing I'm gonna do is use my owl to make holes in the in in the in the wood because there's pre-drilled holes in the sign. So I just want to get a starter hole for the screw that's going to secure this to the tree. Put my gloves on because I get I hate I hate hurting myself out in the garden and getting scratches and <sighs> this scratch is finally going away so plant scratched me all beat up out here that's why these are great because these are uh, mechanics gloves apparently but they have these like ridges in the knuckles and this like thick plastic and they're just great so i use them for when i'm doing like stuff heavy, it's like heavy duty type stuff and then i use my green gardening gloves forget where those are at somewhere I use those when I'm just like working with like soil and stuff like that 
getting rid of a pimple there. Still cute. Still cute. Um, I'm gonna take my hair down a little bit, but oh boy, it is warm in here. All right, so now I've secured this sign from here to the wood, and then these holes. I'm gonna drill through those. All right. So now I'm gonna take this over and hang it up. Let's see if I can bring y'all with me. Okay, I need to do a photo shoot like right here. Look at that. Look. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I couldn't let people see my dress, so I didn't film that part. But look, the sign's up. Looks good. And you can see it. Let's see if you can see it from the screen when you come in. I mean, honestly, you shouldn't be coming in unless you're supposed to be here. Yeah, it's pretty bright. Okay, that's good. Good enough for me. All right, going back to the house. I feel accomplished this morning. I feel accomplished this morning. Freaking hell. Why do spiders want to make a web from here across to there? What is that about? That is so stupid. Your, your house gonna get bulldozed. Where is the camera? Your house gonna get bulldozed every single day. Does that sound smart to you, spider? Oh, spider webs on me. I love these flowers. This is a poplar. I think it's a poplar tree flower different from the oak leaves but they're so pretty look at that that spider really was coming for me too he was really coming for me all right i'm going back in the house <sighs> you hear that papa's be quiet every time i go outside hi hi what what you got something to say you got something to say? Well, I'll take you outside in a little while. You can go outside on the porch, but not right now, okay? Look what we have here. Look at this. You see this little lizard? He looks like a baby alligator. Whoa, he's doing a split. That's impressive. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Okay, let's see what he does. <laughs> oh, don't fall. No. <laughs> don't you go in there, lizard. Hey, hey. Don't you dare. Don't you, don't you jump in there. We going, it's going to be some consequences, repercussions, and concussions if you jump into this greenhouse right now. Don't you do it. I'm not going to stand here forever. Can you leave, please? Can you go? You know what? I'm going to leave, and then you leave, okay? Okay. When I come back, you better be gone. Hey, everybody. Curly Chronicles here. Thanks for joining me again. We're baking today, and I thought, you know what? Capture this. Capture this. Welcome to my kitchen, if you're new. Hello. Cats are being very ratchet, very ratchet right now. Check back with you when it's all done. Yay! This is so good. Y'all are not ready. Here, here is the banana bread. Look at that. It's got a little chunk of banana. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're fine. She's fine. It's fine. Et voila. So I'm gonna keep it in this baggie. Yeah, make sure it cools down before you transfer it to like a baggie. It'll keep for a good week or so, maybe five, six days. I hope you enjoyed.
I hope you enjoyed. It's delicious. Yeah, so that rain pretty much sums up the next couple of days. It was raining a lot. So we'll end the vlog here. I will leave you all with a few images and clips from this vlog period. I went ahead and pulled those carrots up. I didn't want to lose them, so I said pull them and eat them now. And they were delicious, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, also, we celebrated our one year anniversary uh, of being married, but we've been together for 13 years. We celebrate both of these milestones in like, uh, July. So we celebrated with a little bit of bubbly. <laughs> Are we going? Yeah. Okay. Is that? Huh? Is yeah. that? Oh. <laughs> I think I need to step back. I'm gonna step back too. Don't get the camera. No, I won't get the camera. <laughs> Nothing. And we just kind of like hung outside and it was just a really nice uh, mellow day. So it was great. So thanks again for joining me and hanging out with me here in the nature uh, with me and my many, many critter friends. They should start calling me Snow Black because wow, I got that Snow White effect. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye.